here's some scissors in Chuck's bag. He's lived here a while. They look clean enough. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. I was lucky enough to get it working once. found those scissors in your pack. Oh, good. Get to snipping. not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. You know, we don't have to do this right away. Okay, good. Hey, Clint. Hi. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. do this yeah of course I don't believe you well good good means you know when someone's lying to you which is another valuable survival scale so you did kill someone before yeah you could have just told me I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything I'm sorry You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. No, it's different. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. I was sent to jail. Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There. 
All set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Well, the girl can shoot. Doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. You get that hair sorted? Yeah, I don't think she cares for it. She will. Hey. Yo. It's full of maps and documents. another with Chuck. You'll keep an eye out up here? Sure. Okay, then. Thanks. There was a map of Savannah in the cab. That's where I will look. I'll talk it over with Clementine. Make sure she's got a sense of things by the time we arrive. Good. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. Yeah. Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. They don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. 
them in time. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far... Oh, shit! Hold on, everybody! That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm. I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This? Yo! You keep screaming like that, and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone, first day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? 
Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. The train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it, no nothing. It's empty. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. That's about the only useful thing in here. Empty. That's what I figured. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Am I gonna have to tell your people the plan, or what? There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? It's time we move forward. Omid and Krista are gonna help and we're gonna get past this damn tanker. We're happy to stick around. We'll see about that. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. <laughs> More big shit to move. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through.